Okay, today I'm going to be embroidering or appliquing a split W file that I purchased. And I have it on my junk drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull up my junk drive. Find my little clicker, not sure where it is. Uh, I have it in a file called applique. And oops, it is right here under split. And I'm going to go to the four one and scroll down oops, to W. So it looks like that. And I'm going to click set and add. I'm going to go to that. I want to add this type of letter. So I want to type in what I need to add. And then I'm going to click set. I'm going to move it down into the middle. I'm going to click size. And I'm actually going to shrink it in some. Quite a bit. What I'm trying to do is get the W inside the little lines. It's hard for me to see and hold this up here for you, but and I've lost my little stylus. I'm not sure what I do with it. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Okay, we're still not there. I think I might have been clicking on the wrong one that time. Almost there. And I think that will do it, but I'm just going to go a couple more. Okay, so it's going to look like that. So I have my fabric, I mean I have my thread. I'm gonna use the burgundy thread. I already have that up there. And I'm going to check to make sure, and I'm gonna sit you down. I'm gonna check to make sure that I am centered correctly. There we go. So I'll play with my, um, I'll click OK. And I'm going to click Embroider. And then I'm going to check and see how we are. Okay, I can see already that's on the plate, so that's too far. Actually, I have to rotate this. I'm sorry, I hope you can see that. The, and the reason I know I need to rotate it is because up here on my sizes, top to bottom is seven inches, and side to side is six. So therefore, I want um, the top to bottom to go this way and the side to side to go this way. So I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click on Rotate right here. I'm going to rotate it. Either direction's fine. But I think I want it the other way. I guess just depending on your brain, <clears throat> I want it that way. So it's going to do my W this way and then my the Wood L name across here. Okay. So now I'm gonna sit you back down and I'm gonna make sure that I have it centered. I'll click OK. And this is my bottom. Okay. The bottom's back here so I know that that's okay.
Okay, next I need to make sure that it is centered where I want it to be. So I need it centered on this. Now what I did is I just used some cutaway on a fast frame and I just stuck this to it. But to make it more stable, I used a placemat that I cut apart. It has two parts. I want to leave those together. So what I did is I used my clips on the end here and clipped it. And then while it's doing, I'm going to kind of help, help hold it. Um, but first I need to make sure it's centered. Okay, um, what I'm noticing already is that this is the, the farthest it's going to go to this side. And when I click on that, no, sorry, that button there, let me, when I click on that side, I'm noticing it's going all the way almost to the edge. So it's going to be, it's not centered. So what I want to do is I want to click OK. I want to carry it down. And you can notice that it's moving until I think I have it centered. And then I just keep playing with it. Now I'm going to go this way. I'm about that far. And I usually kind of measure and see how far I am three centimeters from this end. So I'm going to go that side and I'm going to measure. And I'm uh, three centimeters from that end, so that's perfect. I'm going to go that side. Make sure I am three and a half inches. I'm going to go to the other side. Measure it. And I am four inches. So what I'm going to do is go back over here, click OK. I'm going to go move it to the right a couple spaces. And then I'm going to check it again. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I like to do centimeters because I can tell better. Okay, it's uh, three and three lines. So I'm going to go back to the other side. Hmm. And it's four. So that tells me I need to go that way some. I was going the wrong way. So click on here. I did find my stylus, but here it goes. Okay. Now let's measure it again. Inches, I mean centimeters. It is three and a little over a half. Let's go back to this side. Measure it again. And it's three and a half and two lines. Back again. Three and a half and two lines. Okay. <clears throat> so then I usually just work my way around it and make sure that I am not on the I'm gonna try to put you. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not on the frame. I'm not. I check at every point off of the frame here. Go that one more time, check it side. Okay. Check this side. And I just use to kind of eyeball it on there and just make sure that I haven't made a mistake. Okay. And then all the way on that side. Okay. So I'm ready. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click lock and go and I'm going to sit you here so you can kind of watch it
I'm not holding it really hard, just tight enough to keep it from slipping back. And I do have clips, but what I found is if I bend this, it creates a fold in it. And it's really hard for me to get out, it out, so I don't want to do that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use this cloth here and I'm going to cut pieces that will fit over over those. So that's going to take um, me a second. Oh, not well, longer than a second. All right, so. What I'll do is just kind of measure what I have, it's like three and a half inches, and I'm gonna cut more than that. I'm gonna cut five. And that way I'm going to need uh, about five and a half. So I'm going to do like six. Or six and a half. So now what I'm trying to decide is I think I want to do each piece and then stop it because if I don't, I've never done one before that was so close together, I don't think. So I'm going to grab this about that far. to line up though let's see I'm trying to think how I think I might just try it like this and see how it does someone else said I could some temporary on it and try to hold it rather than it slipping around so I think I might do that all right here we go I'll go ahead and try it I 
but I'm going to stop it right there. I think. Yeah, I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to back it up a thread because... Alright, that's right where I want it. So I'm going to take it off. I don't... Uh, And I'm going to cut off, cut around this. And then I'll bring it back. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I just kind of cut around that. I left the other one intact. I didn't, didn't lift it up at all. So I'm going to go ahead and click. Make sure I got it on there. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to lock it and go ahead and start. stop it again so that I can and actually I might try to just cut this one while you watch and not take it off what I do is pull it up but I'm not gonna move it and I hope you can see me I just cut pretty close like that pull this side up Cut it pretty close like that. I'm going to pull just the top up, but I'm not going to move the other side. I'm going to cut like that. Then and cut that piece off. And I'm going to not cut the thread, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece off. I'm going to try my best to leave that down because I kind of want the pattern to follow the same pattern all the way across. I don't want it to be changed totally, completely. So I'm going to hold this side down. And if I have to go back and trim some, I will. And so I might. If you notice in my hands hitting this, I probably should have tried to take it off. But I'm going to leave that on there. I'm going to go around to the other side. And do it from this side. And I'm sure there's an easier way. But this is just the way I'm doing it. And I'm sure as I do it more, I will find easier ways to do it okay so I'm gonna leave that there I'm not gonna move it make sure it's pressed down all right I'm gonna go back over and I'm gonna try to leave it right there I'm gonna click lock and go let it move out of the way and I'm going to stop and I'm going to do the same thing over here except this time I'm going to take it off because it's going to be harder to get to the back and I just unscrew this screw not all the way but so I can lift it up just slide it out and bring it right over here And I'm going to go ahead and cut this off.
I'm going to leave that like that because I want to make sure that I match up bottom. And I want to make sure that I don't reach down into my, it's kind of like burlap, but And I'll show you what, what I'm using in just a minute. I'm going to cut a little closer because some of these, if you leave too much sticking off, it, um, when your threads come back and sew around the edges, it'll leave little pieces of cloth sticking out. And then you have to try to take your scissors and clip it, but then you're in risk of cutting the threads. So what I do is I just kind of go back pull it up a little and just cut not as close as you can get but you just want to leave a little bit okay that looks good come this way just making sure I'm getting it and I have nicked it before and, and it came up just a little bit in one place with the cloth, not the, the canvas I have it on. Um, and when it went back around to sew, actually sew, it, it sewed it down so it was fine. But, okay, I think that looks good. Got a little piece on the end down here sticking off. I'm going to get rid of All right, now what I'm gonna do, can I put that back? Cause I wanna match up the piece that I already, I should have probably did a whole cut. Now I have to get a piece for this end. So like I said, I'm gonna match right where I was, which was right there. Cause I want the pattern to continue and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out right here. Okay. And I found that if I try to cut the thread under the cloth too short, my little guy, Kaylin. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So I have the piece. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of spray. And this is the temporary adhesive. And I'm just going to spray to hold that side down. Make sure I had it. And I, you probably don't have to be this particular, but I just want to be, so for now. Okay. And I'm going to take this side, fold it back, just spray a little bit. There. All right, so now I have that on. Looking like this so far. And I'm going to put it back on. Just ease it under. You just kind of lift up and put down, put it down, twist that tight. I'm going to press lock and go, and then I'm going to help hold the cloth a little bit. Make sure you can see. Yes. Don't get your fingers in the way by any means. Be careful. Just want to make 
make sure it's flat over here. I'm going to go ahead and just do both of them. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Again. And lay it over here. I'm in the process of trying to get me another table or something over here so it'll be the sewing so I'm not on the dining room table, which this is the formal dining room. We don't eat in here, so it's not a big deal, but I don't like having the stuff on the table. Okay, get as close as I can without getting too close. Cut across the other side. Okay. Pull it up. And okay. Cut across the bottom. Look around and make sure. Now this is the part that's sewn together, so I'm just have to kind of work myself up in here without cutting. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go from this side. Yeah. Okay. That looks fine. Now I can get this side and there we go. Okay, I think it it all looks good. Sticking to me. Alright, looking like this so far. So I'm going to put it back on. I've got to figure out what color I want. Okay, what I've decided to do is I'm going to do a dark brown around the edge and then I'm going to do a burgundy line right in the center of the dark brown. So, the first thing I need to do is change my my thread. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've already pulled the other one off. I'm going to put this up here. And I'm going to go ahead and thread it. Um, it's not very hard to thread. Some people have asked me why I wrap three times around this. The lady where I purchased it from, that's what she did and that's what she, how she showed me. She said I always wrap three times around. So I didn't ask, of course, being a newbie, I just said, okay, and that's what I do. And it, it seems to work, um, but if wrapping it once works, then just do what you're used to doing and what works for you. Okay. I'm going to go down here. And bottom. Okay. I'm going to... Top, put a thread, put it on, I call it a little foot. I'm not sure if that's really what it's called. But I have found that um, it slips up. And I don't really think that matters because I, it does it every time. But And it threaded nicely. Alright, so. And you couldn't even see that, but that's okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and click lock and go. And, and this tends to bump up and down. So I just kind of hold it. I'm not really holding it, I'm just kind of resting my hand, my fingers on there.
first time doing this, so we're going to wait and see how it looks. I'm hoping that the colors I chose are going to look okay. But it did. So I'm going to cut the thread. I'm checking my bobbin. I've got plenty bobbin. So that's not it. I need to go ahead and change my needle. See if I can find stuff to do that with. Okay. Not sure what happened there because it's not on the edge so I'm not sure but I'm going to pull that out and pull this needle down like that and get another needle I'm not sure if it's because I had it on leather I mean I had it on the jersey I'm really not sure I didn't change the needle so, I'm going to go ahead and cut it down here. My needle is, that part of the needle is still there. I need to make sure I get that off, the other part. Okay. I'll put this in. Oh, no. Put it in here. You can tell I haven't changed the needle. But one time, I'm not used to trying to figure out which way. Yeah, like this. Okay. I'm gonna hold it up. Sorry. I hold it up with this that way I make sure it's in there there we go now I probably didn't do that the best way but that's okay all right I need to thread it again it does feel like too much thread. Let me go ahead and wrap some of this back up. Okay. Now let's start over. can't really see up in there but I did buy a light to put there but I just haven't taken the time to put the light it's just hard to see with the dark background 
Hmm. Maybe that'll help a little. Now that has been one of the complaints that people have had is that it's hard to see when you're threading the thread. And I can't seem to get it in there. There we go. Okay, that was hard enough. <laughs> I need to install that light. All right, so hoping this is not gonna break again, but drop the foot, put it up there, it again. and it's there. So I'm hoping it's ready, and we're going to click. Just make sure everything looks okay. Everything looks fine. All right, I'm gonna click lock. And go. Oh, no. Jesus. no, let me stop for a minute. I should have backed up a couple stitches. Anytime you break a needle, something you need to back up. So I'm gonna back up. No, I was going plus. I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna have to re-thread again. I don't want it to miss any stitches. I'd rather have it go back over some of the stitches that I've already done than for it to miss some of them. Okay, put up in there. Okay, click red. Okay. Threaded it and now I'm going to hit lock and go. It's like it's kind of catching, it seems like. change back to the burgundy and then I'll have to go back to the brown again and you just have to do it in the order that it, it it's supposed to be done in um because some of the stitches go on top of the other stitches and it just oh got my fingernail so give me a second let me thread it and I have started wrapping it um while I've been doing this video, I've started wrapping only twice around the tension um, knob. So, how to get it in there? Okay. 
those. There. They find it a little hard sometimes to get it up on that little arm. Hmm. It's a little. I was wondering why it felt a little tight. It's I wrapped it over there. Now let's try this again. Okay, it grabbed over here on the side, and I didn't realize that. All right, well, there we go. Um, it did not thread correctly, so I'm going to pull it back through. Put my foot back down. And it's still not threading right. All right, let's pull it back out. Let's see what I'm doing wrong here. Okay. It's kind of hard to see from the side over here. Because I usually am on this side. And it does keep grabbing. And I know that some people have had trouble with their threader. I've never had any problems but I'm having an issue now. It's not wanting to thread correctly. So, I'm gonna drop it back down. Put it back up here. All right. And it's not, hmm. I do find that it slips up on that thing, but it's been doing that all along. But I'm gonna try to hold it right there and let's see if that, it didn't let me hold it. Hmm. It's kind of like it, it just doesn't stay down there. It catches up in there. Up in there somewhere. Yeah, that's what it's doing. It's catching up in there and then it can't come, it can't pull it back out. This is the first time I've ever had to thread it by eyesight, by hand. So, let's just go ahead and do it, I guess. I don't want to keep you on here. Okay. Got it in there, if I can just grab the other side. Okay. Oh. Now I went around the... All right, we're gonna try that. Um, not sure how much thread I'm supposed to have like that. So we're going to go that. Um, uh, okay, we're in there. Let's try it.
This is the last thing that it's got to do before it actually does the name. take the burgundy off. I'm going to thread this again. I'm going to bring you back up there so you can kind of see this time. So you're not just staring at the cloth. Put it through this hole here. Slip it under that. Like I said, I've just wrapped it twice that time. again. It's on the bottom. I'm going to try the threading thing one more time. And it's not threading. And I know exactly what it's doing. It's getting caught behind that little them see what they say okay. threading don't want it under there we'll cut off about that much and I'm gonna click lock and go
Okay, it's finished, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off. And, oh, I don't need to tighten that bit out. This is what I ended up with. Um, I'm not sure if you can really see it. The lighting in here is not that great, but anyway, that's what it looks like. So, I'm going to take these clips off. Just pull them off. You can reuse these clips. They come on a little device that snaps them on really, really well. It's this little thing here that snaps them on to the end of it. Okay. So, let me zoom you out just a little. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to undo this from the fast frame. I really don't, I'm not really going to, my plan wasn't to cut it off. Um, so I'm going to just pull it off. I'm going to undo the ends like this. Just take the sticky off the fast frame if I can. This was my plan. Yeah, it's coming off. You just... Okay, got that in off, and I'll trim it. Then on this end, hoping you can see me. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off on this end. Yeah, there we go. I'm just, where it was wrapped on the fast frame, I'm just pulling it back off. There we go. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it off like this or not. I think I will. Just kind of pull it through there. There we go. This end. My son's, they're getting, he's getting out of the tub. My husband's with him. I hear him, so he's probably going to be in here in a minute making all kinds of noise. Okay. So this is what I ended up with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trim around the edge. And I was thinking I might could, um, I hear you, mommy's recording, okay? I don't think I can. I'm going to have to, um, go ahead and trim around the edge like this. And I could cut it off, but I'm scared that if I cut it off the back, that it may end up showing, like some parts has white behind it and some don't. It may change the coloration. So I don't really want to do that. All right, so got that. And then I'm gonna bring you around and show you with me putting it in the frame. Yes, Helen. Um, she's going to brush her teeth. Watch out of the way. Let mom finish this. And I'm going to put it face down. Hoping it's going to fit right in. It does because I'm... <clears throat> because I measured it with the... Um, because I measured it with the tape. Honor, I'm recording! Um, they'll sit in there arguing about the bathtub water and everything. Alright, so. Got it in there. I'm going to put this in. I hope. That I've I haven't done one of these before, so I'm hoping that everything's going to turn out the way I want it to. I think I have to get it in a little lip up there. I don't want to break, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Got that tied in. I need 
get this side in. This side's not going in. Let's try this side first. It might be too thick. I don't know. I didn't think about that. There, I think about it. Now this corner here is just not going in. Hmm, I think this is, I think I'll be able to make it work, but where this was sewed together on the corner, it's going to um, be a little thick. So what I'm going to do is pull it down a little, get it in. Then I will push it back up. Now, let's try it. Let's see how it's going to look. And there you go. There you have it. I think it turned out great. I think she's going to like it. Um, Anyway, I think I definitely will be making more of these. Hope you enjoy the video. Please leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, please be nice. I'm learning. Um, this is my first time doing this. And so I'm just kind of learning as I go. But hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. This is Sean Woodhill from Heavenly Soaps and Such.